Hello YouTube, this is Burnstats Productions here, and I'm your host, JGMan2526, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over this cool Adobe Photoshop uh, reflection effect. It's a really cool effect, so let's get started. And it's really easy. So first off, you want to go, to when you have it open, go to File, New, and make sure you can name it to whatever you want. And I'm going to name it Reflection. Put the width to 500 and the height to 500. And click OK. I want to make sure that this is black. And we can do that by sim sim simply going to the Layers tab, clicking the background there, and going to Edit, Fill, Use, Black. And then click OK. Now we have a black. So now what we're going to do is make your text. So get your text tool, make a new layer, and go ahead and put your text. And go ahead and recent it to wherever. Now when we have it centered, you want to go ahead and what you're going to want to do is you want to on your on your keypad, hit Alt Shift and holding on to it still, drag it down. I'll just all it's gonna do is copy it so that way it can be down here instead of up there also. So now what we're gonna wanna do is you wanna make a layer mask by this tool here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to and you wanna go to edit, transformation, and flip vertical. Now what you're going to want to do is you're almost done. Now I want to make sure you get the gradient tool here. If you don't have it and you have a bucket tool, just hold on to this tool and it's still holding on. Let go of the gradient tool. Now you want to make sure that it's a foreground to background. Click OK. You want to make sure it's a linear gradient. The mode is normal. Open pass is 100. So now what we're going to do is when the, the bottom is colliding with the top, you want to put it underneath the bottom. So that way you just go down. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to undo that. You want to hold shift and on under the bottom of the top one, let's go down and make sure it's like that. Now you see that it looks like a reflection. Now what you're going to want to do is you can go to Elk Opacity and change it to like a 40. Now you got your effect. Now you got your reflection. Now you can go ahead and save it all to whatever you want. It's very simple, guys. This is a very simple effect. So I hope you guys enjoy this Adobe Photoshop tutorial. More to come in the future. Please subscribe to my channel. And I have been your host today, Burn Status Productions. So peace out.